Broadcasting live on Spreaker.com, you're listening to What's the Score? The Sports News Quiz, presented by Sports Radio America. I'm your game master, Josh Scheibe, the man who had to quit playing sports after one too many trips to the doctor. Sounds sad, I know, but let's face it, sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> Here's a man whose name we know and love, your host at the BLC Studios in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Baxter Colburn. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everybody. I can't say I have quite the same rapport at the local hospital as you do, Josh, but I appreciate the, uh, the shout-out, though. We have a great show in store for you today. We have a, a battle within the war today as well, as some of our panelists have a little bit of extra fighting words, but we'll, we'll get to them in a minute. I don't want to spoil the surprise yet. Before we welcome in our first contestant, we'd like to encourage all of you to go check out our social media pages. On Facebook, you can find, find us at What's the Score, and on Twitter and Instagram at, at WTS Sports Quiz. Today's show, so, show is also being broadcast live on Facebook as well, so hello to all of you Facebook viewers. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, prayer requests, or anything else, we'll be happy to answer those during the commercial break, so stay tuned for that. Before we get to that, though, if you'd like to play our games on the air, you can email us by going to wtsportsquiz at gmail.com or visit our social media pages and click on the pin post at the top of each page. If you ever miss a show, you can find it on Spreaker.com and the Spreaker app, iTunes, the College Tailgate, the Sports Quotient, and on Stitcher. Just type what's the score in the search bar and click on the latest episode. Also, if you think our show is worth at least a dollar, why not donate to our Patre Patreon account? <laughs> Just search what's the score and donate today. Let's meet our panelists this week. First up, it's been a long time, but he's finally back, a sports broadcaster and a lover of all Wisconsin and St. Louis sports. It is Grant Coppersmith. And once the uh, Rams got out of town, yeah, they, they, they're off my You're list. You're not going to the bandwagon? No, nope. nope. <laughs> done. LA, we're done. Fair She's enough. strictly St. Louis now. <laughs> I love it. Next up, our token Detroit Lions fan who is looking forward to year number 59 of a long rebuilding project. It is Michael Sear. Dressed for failure this afternoon, gentlemen. Dressed for failure. And finally, a new man on the panel. He is the co-editor of GBM Wolverine on fansided.com and a freelance music writer. It is Chris Gibbons. I am just happy to finally be here on the show. I've been waiting a few months to I know. We, we finally made it happen, Chris. Well, we are excited. Welcome to the show panel today, Chris. is your first time on the panel, so we're very excited about that. And it's also the first time, Game Master Shabby, that, that we have two Detroit Lion fans on our panel. That's very true. Therefore, Grant, you win by default, so congratulations. Hey. That's our show. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Yeah, I, I was waiting for a long time. I was, I, I'm going to be really far behind at points, and then I'm going to be the slow guy that they don't cover and just catch the ball to win the game. That's, that's, <laughs> as long as there's no time left on the clock, that's all yeah, that matters. Yeah, that's, that's how I do it. Well, panel, we'd be lying if we said your questions today are going to be as easy to, uh, to answer as we know who's going to be the winner of the NFC North. However, we will get to your questions just a little later in the show. It is time now to get this show on the, route, on the road with our first contestant game. Joining us on the phone to play Quotable Context, is Lutrum Rexhage from New York. Welcome to the show, Lutrum. Thanks for having me, guys. We are ha we're very happy to, happy to have you here, Lutrum. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right, Lutrum, you're going to be playing our first game called Quotable Context. Live radio is beautiful. Game Master Shibe, you will read five quotes from this week's news, and you must identify the context of each quote. Correctly answer three out of five questions correctly, and you will win our prize. A what's the score t-shirt. Now, if you do get stuck on a question, you are allowed to ask one panelist for help on only one question, so choose wisely. Are you ready to play, sir? As ready as I'll ever be. Oh, okay, Thanks. here is your first clue. I could never play in this soft era. All my contract money would go to fines. That was Gary Payton tweeting out this week that he could never see himself playing in what professional league doing it being so soft right now. The NBA. Yes, that is correct. Yes, it really does seem like anybody can get a foul nowadays. During the last Golden State and Oklahoma City Thunder game, Steph Curry was given a foul 10 seconds into the game. It's like, let him play, for gosh sakes. The refs want to dictate the play of the game, but you know what? Just let him play a little bit. Gary Payton would definitely be uh, fined heavily. All right, here is your next quote. I would love it if fans at Yankee Stadium gave me a standing ovation. That was what Boston Red Sox player who is retiring at the end of this upcoming season? Uh, is a Big Poppy, David Ortiz? Yes, that is correct. 
I'm not exactly sure if they would do it, but it's an interesting sentiment to ask Yankee fans, the number one, to do anything, and uh, number two, to actually have them have a standing ovation for someone like Big Poppy. But he's well-respected around the league, so you'd assume why not, maybe. All right, you're two for two. Let's see if we can keep rolling with this perfect streak. He's a rule breaker when it comes to jump shooting. He becomes a problem in the video game world. That was NBA 2K makers commenting on how they can't seem to figure out what to do with what player in the game. Gotta be Steph Curry, right? Yes, that is correct. Nicely done. Steph Curry is about as broken in real life as he is broken in uh, 2K. What did he hit? 12? Three pointers or something like that mm-hmm. last night. The man is an absolute yeah. monster. He said three games over forty points the last three or four games here. It's ridiculous. He just pulled up for a game winner last night from thirty five. And that was you know a short shot for him too. <laughs> two two games ago he had to make twenty one threes in order to match his NBA uh, season three point <laughs> record. Now he's got it by two. Oh threes. my gosh! Wow. And that, the funny part about it though too is that after their victory yesterday against the Oklahoma, Oklahoma wow, Oklahoma <laughs> City Thunder. <laughs> Holy cow! That's why we can't write this stuff, folks. Um, <laughs> they've now clinched a playoff spot, and it is only February, so it's a little ridiculous. All right, here is your next quote. We might shock you this year. That was Green Bay Packers head coach Mike McCarthy telling the media that his team might actually do what this off season. Uh, can you, can you uh, repeat that one more time? For me yes, faster? here's the here's the quote one more time for you. We might shock you this year. That was Green Bay Packers head coach Mike McCarthy telling the media that his team might actually do what this off season. Uh, I'm gonna need some help on this one. Okay, who would you like to ask? Would you like to ask Michael Grant or Chris? I think Chris will be on this one. Okay, Chris, what can you do to help out our good friend Lutrum? All right, I can tell him that usually the Packers are heavily focused on building their team in the draft, so this is a little different. Does that help you at all, sir? So they'll be signing a free agent? Yes! (laughs) Yes! Packer fans everywhere immediately started celebrating and still realized that Ted Thompson is still the GM, so they don't want to get their hopes up too high. But yes, Coach Mike McCarthy may be trying to stick it to the man a little bit. We've heard him a couple times this offseason say that he's you know not exactly happy with how Thompson runs the team and that he's going to try to sign some free agents. So we'll see if the team actually does that. All right, Luchum, this is exciting. We have a chance to go for perfect. Here is your final quote. I've never had a problem with the size of my hands. That was Jared Goff telling the media he is surprised experts at what event are so concerned about his hand size. The NFL Combine. Yes, that is correct. (laughs) Yes, Jared Goff uh, did fairly well for himself at North Dakota State. Only fumbled the ball four times last season. I think he has 23 career fumbles. And the big issue with all that, though, is if you have small hands, how you're going to be able to perform in cold weather. But Jared Goff feels like he can beat the system in that regard. So, all right, uh, Game Master Shivey, how did Lutrum do on our quiz? He got five out of five, a perfect score. He's a winner. Congratulations, Lutrum. Thank you so much for playing, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chris. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. Thank you so much. Looks like we're heading to our first break now, but when we come back, our panelists will have their first crack at showcasing their knowledge of this week's sports news. You're listening to What's the Score, the sports news quiz, broadcasting live on Spreaker.com, presented by Sports Radio America. Hey everyone, this is your host of What's the Score, Baxter Colburn. And I'm your game master, Josh Scheibe. Thank you so much for being here with us today. On our break, we'd like to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors, Ticket Liquidator. Ticket Liquidator is one of the world's biggest online ticket marketplaces. When you call Ticket Liquidator, you can find sold-out tickets to the biggest events on the planet. They offer a huge selection of tickets at 15% lower cost than their competitors. Their fantastic call center has live agents available seven days a week. Call them today at 855 839 
888-888-9. Ticket Liquidator is a multiple award-winning company, including Deloitte's Fast 500's fastest-growing company in Connecticut. Call today and find tickets to the next big game. Call 855-839-7889 to have access to over 4 million tickets to over 83,000 events worldwide. That number again is 855-839-7889. Hey guys, this is Baxter Colburn, host of What's the Score, the sports news quiz. Did you know that you can listen to us on a lot of different platforms now? Yes, yes you can. Go and check us out on Spreaker.com. You can download our podcast on Stitcher and on the iTunes App Store. You can also find us on thesportsquotient.com and on sportsradioamerica.com as well. Just about anywhere that you can look for great radio programming, you can find What's the Score, the sports news quiz. Go and check us out today and tell your friends. Live from Milwaukee, this is What's the Score? The Sports News Quiz. I'm your game master, Josh Scheibe. This week, our panelists are Grant Coppersmith, Michael Sear, and Chris Gibbons. And now, here's your host at the BLC Studios in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Baxter Colbert. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everybody. Time now for our panelists to showcase their knowledge about this past week's sports but be- news. But before we do that, Game Master Shibe, we have a new rule that we're implementing this week on the show. Do you care to share with us and our panelists as well? I will. When a panelist gives a hint to uh, one of our contestants and the contestant gets the answer right, the, pa- the, the, excuse me, the panelist gets a point. Mm, so a little extra bit of bragging rights and a little extra on the line. So, and that's totally random, too, so we can't tell our contestants who to pick. I understand our next two contestants are in the studio. They are accepting bribes now, so keep that in <laughs> mind. And uh, I know you guys are Lions fans, so you're probably broke. Grant, you probably have a little extra oh. cap space as a Packer fan, Ouch. but you're probably not willing to spend it, so you guys, you got, <laughs> you got nothing. So, All right, anyway, so Michael, we'll start with you, though, for our panelist questions this week. Uh, Steph Curry set an NBA record this week by doing what for now? Well, 129 straight games now. Uh, making a three-pointer in a game. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Steph Curry... Doing wonderful things, as always, unless you are an Oklahoma City Thunder fan. So you got it that time. Uh, scoring a 38-and-a-half-foot game-winning shot just for the heck of it. Just threw it up for no, for no real reason. And uh, now 129 games straight that he has made a three-pointer. That is ridiculous. Most teams can't even score 129 three-pointers in a season. <laughs> He's done it for 129 straight games. Well, Grant, the next question goes to you. I love ISIS, Go Leafs Go, and G.W. Bush did 9-11, and so many others were just (laughs) some of the names which NHL team's Twitter account sent automated messages to after the team reached a million followers. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) They say that that typecasting is... The look on your (laughs) face says everything. (laughs) So so yes, I'll I'll give you a little bit of a background. So... There's a team in the NHL that reached a million followers this week, and they wrote a program. Somebody somewhere wrote a program that's like, hey, we're going to send automated thank you messages from coaches and players and everything thanking whoever they are. So they started tweeting at these accounts, thanking them for it, but we need to know the name of the team. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, you're very close. No, it was the Montreal Canadiens, actually. Oh, okay. Got a Canadian yeah, um, these were the ones that we could say on the air. Uh, <laughs> really? They oh, were, wow. Really? And somehow, I think it was the algorithm that they wrote or whatever, just was pulling at people that have tweeted at the team instead of, like, people that actually follow the team. Oh. And so, like I said, these are these are the, the, the mild version. These are the semi Family friendly versions of them. So, yeah, decent idea, just bad implementation. Exactly, yes. And then those nice Canadians, who knew they could be so harsh? Jeez. <sighs> yeah, it, was, it went bad very, very quickly. Uh, I don't know. All right, Chris, <laughs> uh, question for you. Adam Scheffner is being sued by what NFL player after he released his medical report over the summer? Ooh. You do get hints, by the way. Can I have a hint? Yes. Uh, I I can't give you a hand, though, unfortunately. Jason Pierre-Paul. Yes, that is correct. (laughs) The civil suit seeks more than $15,000 in damages per Kevin Draper of Deadspin. I'm not exactly sure why he's suing for $15,000. And I I understand, like, I understand the reason for it, but at the same time, it's 15 grand as an NFL player. That's, you know, dinner for, you know, for a Saturday night with the family, honestly. So I'm not exactly sure why he's doing that, but... Uh, basically, they're just saying that there's uh, 
confidential reasons or patient confidential reasons is kind of what they're freaking out about. But we'll see. Knowing Jason Pierre-Paul, though, it's, you know, he's probably just looking for money since he's not a relevant name anymore in the league. Well, all we're heading to a break. Our next contestant will show us the state of the job market in our next game. What are your qualifications? Don't go away. You're listening to What's the Score? Presented by Sports Radio America, broadcasting live on Spreaker.com. everyone, this is Baxter Colburn, host of What's the Score, the sports news quiz. And I'm your game master, Josh Scheibe. If you enjoy listening to What's the Score, we encourage you to go and listen to us on all the different platforms that we're available on. You can find us on Spreaker.com, Sports Radio America, The Sports Quotient, Stitcher, and on iTunes as well. Go and download our podcast today and let us know your thoughts. A review never hurt anybody. Hey guys, this is Baxter, the host of What's the Score, the sports news quiz. Want to take a minute to remind all of you to go and check us out on social media. You can find us on Facebook at What's the Score, the sports news quiz, on Twitter at WTS Sports Quiz, and on Instagram at WTS Sports Quiz as well. And if you enjoy the whole hashtag game, like some of us hashtag like to do, hashtag goals, hashtag believer, hashtag, I don't know, I'm not a hashtag. Anyway, use the hashtag what's the score on Twitter and Instagram and check out some of the other exclusive content that we do as well. Connecting all of us one smartphone at a time. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to What's the Score? The Sports News Quiz, presented by Sports Radio America. I'm Josh Scheibe, your Game Master. We have a great panel here for you this week. Michael Sear, Chris Gibbons, and Grant Coppersmith. And they'll have the opportunity to show their prowess in just a little bit. Before that, though, here's the host of What's the Score, Baxter Colburn. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everybody. Coming up, we put our panelists to the test in our Name 5 Panelist Showdown. If you would like to play the games on air, for those of you watching on Facebook or those of you that are on social media or listening to us live on Spreaker, you can go and shoot us an email at wtssportsquiz at gmail.com or you can find the links to our contest form on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Playing our next game, which we've decided to call What Are Your Qualifications, is Brian Hopkins. Welcome to the show, Brian. Thank you. All right, Brian, as you may or may not know, the NFL Combine is full of numerous interviews. You get about a 15-minute speed date with an NFL coach, basically, to show what you're capable of doing. Well, this last week, retired NFL defensive lineman Austin Lane took to Twitter uh, to reveal some very unique questions that he's been asked during his NFL Combine interviews. Okay. Uh, Lane's not the only NFL player, though, that has been giving a (laughs) sort of interesting question, so uh, we decided to put together a game based off of those questions. In this game, you'll be given three options per question. Two of the three options are real questions that players have admitted to being asked, while one is made up, as far as we know. Correctly answer three out of five questions correctly, and you'll win our prize, a What's the Score t-shirt. Remember, if you are stuck on a question, you can ask one of our lovely panelists, if you, but only on one question. Okay. So keep that in mind. Are you ready to play some? I'm ready. All right, here is your first question. Which of these quotes is, a reported, is not reported a question that was asked at the NFL Combine? Is it A, would you kill somebody if you knew you could get away with it? B, boxers or briefs? Or C, would you ever run for president? B, boxes or briefs. No, that is incorrect. So would you ever run for president? Okay. So you have plenty of time, still plenty of time. Here we go, next question. All right, which of these quotes is not a reported question asked at the NFL Combine? A, would you rather be a cat or a dog? B, do you pay on the first date? Or C, I see you have dreads. You smoke weed, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not C. Um, what was B again? Do you pay on the first date? 
B. Yes, that is correct. Nicely done. <laughs> All right, here is your third question. One for two. Let's see if we can keep going. Which of these is not a question that has been asked that we know of? A, can you count to 100 by fives? Do you think your mother is attractive? Or C, do you like girls? The answers may surprise you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to take to the panel for this one. Okay, who would you like to talk to, Michael, Grant, or Chris? Definitely not the Lions fan, so I'm going to go with the Packer fan. All right, Grant, what can you do to help our good friend Brian? Oh, um... (laughs) (laughs) Trying to find a way that will not give it away so easily. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can give it away, but not. You just can't tell me the answer. Right. Um, it's definitely the the answer will surprise you. I'm gonna say it has nothing to do with the the answer has nothing to do with the other gender. Okay. So what were the uh, options again? Uh, is it A? You can count to a hundred by fives. A. Okay. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Two for three. Okay. So we're in a good spot here. All right. Here is your next question. Which of these is not a reported question? A, do you think your mother is a prostitute? B, if you had to murder someone, would you use a gun or a knife? And C, what's your ideal Starbucks drink? Ooh. Um, Once again, two of these are real questions. Wow. Talk about an interview. <laughs> um, I'm going to say B. If you had to murder somebody, would you use a gun or a knife? I'm going to ask you one more time to think about that. I'm not going to say it's right or wrong. It's just if you, I'm going to pull the whole Regis Philbin on, do you want okay. to be a millionaire? Okay. Is that your final answer? Can I hear C again, please? What's your ideal Starbucks drink? Or? I don't think that says a lot about a man because my ideal Starbucks drink would not get me drafted by an NFL team, so I'm going to say C. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, let's see if we can go four for five. I, I liked that deduction right there. That was a very good way because, I mean, getting asked, uh, do you think your mother is a prostitute is a really good way to see. You know whose a- mom, that, <laughs> you know who the player was that got asked that? Who? That's Bryant. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Number one, a man you don't want to make mad in general. <laughs> Number two, wow. he said that he kept his composure the entire interview. He got wow. that question and he got another. I think he got the is your mother attractive one as well. It was so. not a catch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's your last question. Which of these is not as a reported question at the NFL Combine? Is it A, does your mom still do drugs? B, is Kim Kardashian's butt overrated? Or C, would you share your internet history with us? I got to say B. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Never turn away from Kim Kardashian's butt. She will lead you to the promised land. Yes, four for five, Game Master Shivey. Mr. Hopkins did fairly well, did he not? He did. He got four out of five. Like you said, he's a winner. Nicely done, Brian. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, panel, some questions for you. Maybe not as uh, round and presumptuous as Kim's butt. Anyway, uh, Grant, we'll go with you first. It took one one-hundredth of a second for who to win the Daytona 500 title this year. That's how much he won it by. I should say it didn't take the race that long. <laughs> yeah, very fast did. race. I'd watch NASCAR every time. <laughs> if it took that long. I mean, and I even watched it. Uh, can I get a hint on this one? <laughs> <laughs> I, even, I even watched the last couple laps, and I can't remember. <laughs> it's a heck of a race. Don't remember a thing about it. You were probably drinking like many NASCAR fans. No, uh, he. The first name of this gentleman. Uh, he has a a breakfast restaurant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. I I do not know. It's, no? Nope. I do. Not a thing. Denny's. That's all I got. That, you got the first part. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember his last and his name. La- his last name is something to do with uh, with the meal that you'd eat at Easter? Thanksgiving? Not Thanksgiving. Easter. Hamilton. Oh, <laughs> you're so oh. close. Oh. Denny Hamlin. 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 No. Hamlin. <laughs> Just missed it. Yes, that was the closest win in Daytona 500 history. Hey, he came from behind, too, after he w- yeah. he wasn't winning, and he just came out of nowhere. So you, you, see, so you know that. It, you know that. It. Yeah, but you don't know. All right, all right. Come from behind. Hail Mary win. That's how... That's how we do it. Would you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Please. They've been very tolerant of you so far today, Grant. I'm waiting for them to snap and both. They're on either side of you. You're yeah. treading dangerous water. The probably... Lions are on either side of Richard Rogers, too. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it was a pack of Lions around. I still missed it. 
But would I use a gun or a knife? Ah. <laughs> and would you d- murder somebody if you know you could get away with it? Mm. Well, you're in Detroit, Those were all real yeah, questions, by the way. <laughs> well, Chris, in a recent game, Cleveland Cavaliers, Cavaliers player Kyrie Irving only played nine minutes due to what keeping him up the night before? Oh, man. I just read about this. Everybody just reads or just sees or yeah, just I heard <laughs> or I watched it, but they never know. Can I get a hint? Do you want the hint, or do you want me to have the hint? Why don't you give them the hint? All right. Well, let's just say it's something that you heard a lot about as a child that you hoped didn't keep you up at night. Oh, spiders. <gasps> let's no? get a little bit more specific. Um, something that doesn't make something that sounds like it would be made up, but is real. Anything? Uh, Anything nothing. at all? Nothing, nothing at all. Well, we were looking for bed bugs. Bed, That's what we were looking bed for. Bed bugs. Yeah. Bed bugs. Yes. Um, according to Kyrie Irvin, five big ass bed bugs uh, <laughs> kept him up all night long. You he only that? played for nine minutes. That's an official quote. Yes. That's, right. You can't can't fault me for that one. All right, Michael. Uh, question for you. Jaden Newman is a leading girls high school varsity player in the state of Florida this year. But there's something unique about her and her fact that she's leading the entire state in scoring what's so special about her oh, as a player like she in sixth grade yes she is exactly wow nicely done she is in sixth grade and she is better than all varsity high school people that are years older than her and she's the leading scorer she's the steph curry of florida high school basketball apparently well it's time for another break but don't worry we'll be right back and our panelists will have another chance to answer some questions about this week's sports news you're listening to what's the score Broadcasting on Spreaker.com. Hey everyone, Baxter Colburn here for What's the Score, the sports news quiz. Want to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors, Sports Radio America. Go and check out SportsRadioAmerica.com today to find the latest shows about the sports world. You can listen to What's the Score on their network. You can also catch great shows like Pros in the Paint, Sunday Gridiron, the College Credit Hour, Two Up Front, the BG Sports Show, and oh so much more. Go and check them out today, SportsRadioAmerica.com. We appreciate their support and yours as well. Hey everyone, this is Baxter Colburn, host of What's the Score, the sports news quiz. And I'm your game master, Josh Scheibe. If you think you are smart enough, or smarter than a fifth grader, and want to play our games on air, you can either come by the studio or you can call us, but there's a few different ways you can get a hold of us. If you'd like to email us, you can do so at wtssportsquiz at gmail.com. Or for you social media savants, head over to Facebook, What's the Score, the sports news quiz, or Twitter, WTS Sports Quiz. Now back to the action with myself and Josh Scheibe. Welcome back to What's the Score, the sports news quiz, and thanks for listening in. We're broadcasting live from the BLC studios in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm your game master, Josh Scheibe. We are playing this week with Chris Gibbons, Grant Coppersmith, and Michael Sear.